my name is graphics today we want to solve this problem in engineering it goes like this it says the feet of two components with nominal diameter 75 millimeter is given as h7 to k6 determine the limit of the hole and shaft, the tolerance of the hole and shaft, their maximum and minimum allowance, the type of fit between them. Now, the first thing you have to do, we are told to calculate the fit, and we know a fit is the tightness or looseness of two components. Now, what are the components that we're considering? We are considering the hole and shaft. Now, what you do is you draw a table. The table you are going to draw, one of the, the left hand side should be for the hole, and the right hand side should be for the shaft. Now, you write. We are talking about 75 millimeter diameter H7 hole. And on the right hand side, we still have the same 75 millimeter diameter K6 shaft. So everything on the right hand side should be for the shaft, and everything on the left hand side should be for the hole. Now we are giving, so we are looking for the, so to calculate for the limit of the hole. And we have two limits of the hole and shaft, which is the upper limit and the lower limit. Now for the upper limit of the hole, we are told it is given as what? You go out to your table and you are going to check, right? Now, if you go to your table, you see where they write nominal size on the table, just like you see now. And we have over, we have two. Now, if you look at from 50 to 65, we cannot find 75 there. From 65 to 80, there is 75 there, right? So we are going to take the 75 over 65 to 80. That's what we are going to take. We cannot take 80 to 100 because 80 is greater than 75. Now that is the rule we are going to be considering. Right? Now, we are talking about H7 hole. You now go to the column that has H7, which is this here, you have in here. Right? At that column, we have H7. Now we will now look, you see two values, H7, where H7 meets with, where the vertical column of H7 meets with the horizontal column of the 65 to 80, we have 30 and 0, right? The one on top, which is 30, is the upper limit, and the one under is the lower limit, and we are calculating for upper limit. Now, for you can use whatever you have here, you are going to multiply it with what is up here, which is 0 0.001 millimeter. So 30 times 0 0.01 millimeter will give us 0 0.031 millimeter, right? So before I can write it in my upper limit, I will add it to the diameter given, which is 75. So 75 plus 0 0.0031 will give us 75.00, 75.031. Millimeter that will have so the upper limit for here is 0 point 75.031 millimeter. Is that taken? Similarly, the lower limit. The lower limit, if you check the table under the 30 that we have here, we have zero. So we are going to multiply zero with what we have here, which is 0 0.001, right? And 0 0.001 on the column here. We give us 0 0.000 if you multiply it by 0, right? Now, before we can write it in the lower limit here, we must add it to the diameter, which is what given here to be 75. So, 75 plus 0 0.000 will give us 75.000, right? So, that will be for my what lower limit. So, I've gotten the upper limit of the hole and I've gotten the lower limit of the hole also. Now, I'll go to the right hand side for the shaft. I'll do the same thing. I'll go to the table at the road 
of over 65 to 80 right and i'm going to look for k6 now if you look at cases we're having 21 and 2 that is written there so the highest value there is the upper limit which is 21 and the lower and the lowest value there is 2 is the lower limit before we can assess it we must multiply with what we have at the top here which is 0 0.001 millimeter now if i can write it here calculating for the upper limit of the of the k6o right you are going to multiply this 21 times 0 0.001 right you are going to be having 0 0.021 millimeter so before i can write it here i must add it with the diameter so 0 0.021 one millimeter plus 75 will give us 75.021 millimeter right now that is for the upper limit now for the lower limit we are going to multiply the lowest value here at this column which is 2 right under the k6 you multiply by 0 0.001 and going to give us 0 0.002 that again now, if I can write it on my lower limit, I will add it with the diameter given. A diameter given here is 75. So when you add 75 plus 0 0.002, I'm going to have 75.002 millimeter. Is that the key? So successfully calculate for the upper limit of the hole and the lower limit of the hole, right? Now the next thing will go back to the of the shaft, right? So the next thing now will now go back to the hole, right? So the hole here will not calculate the question says calculate for the tolerance also of the hole and shaft. Now for the hole, tolerance will be what the tolerance is the upper limit minus the lower limit. So since we are considering the hole, it will be the upper limit of the hole minus the lower limit of the hole, right? And the upper limit of the hole here is given as 75.031 minus the lower limit is given as 75.000, right? So this will not give us 75 points. This will not give us 0 0.031 millimeter. So we have to calculate for tolerance of the hole. We we'll now go to the shaft. Calculate for tolerance of the shaft. Which same thing as saying upper limit of the shaft minus lower limit of the shaft. And that will give us 75.021 minus 75.002. So this will not give us, when you subtract both of them, it will not be 0. 019 millimeter so we successfully calculated for the tolerance of the hole and the shaft now now we'll now calculate for what is called the allowance now the allowance we have two type of allowance we have the maximum allowance and we also have the minimum allowance right so for the maximum allowance the formula is upper limit of hole minus lower limit of shaft right so if you're going to check the upper limit of the hole is giving us 75.031 i'm going to write it minus the lower limit of shaft which is given as what 75.002 i'm going to write it also so when you subtract both of them you're going to be having 0 0.029 millimeter now we'll now go for the minimum allowance so the minimum allowance the formula is lower limit of the hole minus the upper limit of the shaft so what is the lower limit here of the hole it is 75.000 minus the upper limit of the shaft is given as what 75 point what 021 millimeter is that again so by the time we subtract both of them we are going to be having minus 0 0.021 millimeter negative so that is the third one now the fourth question here says we should the type of fit. So we have different type of fit. We have the interference fit, we have the clearance fit, and we have uh, the transition fit here. But in this case here now, since the upper limit of the shaft is greater than the lower limit of the hole, that they can we we'll call it that it is an interference what fit because the shaft is your rod. The O it looks like your your boot and your nut, right? So since the rod cannot enter the hole, that the key shaft is like a rod, a, a rigid rod. Since it cannot enter the hole, there will be an interference because it is bigger than the hole. So we we'll call it an interference fit. So if you have found this video helpful, please don't forget to click on the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.